Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some goodies to share with you today from DIY Digital Arts. Um, they were kind enough to send me some items to share with you. So I do have two paintings and an off the canvas item that's a little bit, a little bit different. Can you tell what it is yet? Maybe not. Let's start with a diamond painting. So in we go. Oh. What have we got? What have we got for number one? Number one, we have a 30 by 40. And this is one that, that tickled me up a little bit. Um, so we have raccoon and sink company and we have a little raccoon washing in the sink and it just says wash your paws and I just thought it was sweet. Uh, we have a fish on a bag, we have a duck on the floor, we have some little tiles and yeah it just it just made me smile and shouldn't diamond painting make you smile. So it's down as a 30 by 40, it is about 25 by 35 so just a little bit short of 30 by 40 but we have a raccoon taking a wash uh, it has 23 colors it does have dmc numbers and it all uses letters so it does have white on black symbols and black on white type way so if it's a darker color the letters in white if it's a lighter color the letters in black I imagine quite a few nice blooms. You do get a standard toolkit, some blues and greys by the looks of it, and of course some pops of yellow and stuff for Mr Ducky. But we do have some sort of bluey grey, some greys, or oh, some nice blues. Then we do have those little bits of, of yellow for the duck and the likes of the tap and the towel stand. Quite a few different shades of blue help to make up those tiles. Brown, some little bit of a green. And then we do have a bit of white, of course, because we do have a sink to deal with. And then we've got some blues and sort of a, a brownie burgundy type colour as well but yeah when I go shopping for these paintings you know when I go looking and deciding what it is that I want a lot of the time you know it's something that catches my eye or something that makes me smile or something that makes me think of a particular decor idea or something like that but this one just made me smile and I thought that one would look really nice in a bathroom especially if you have a blue theme so that's number one number two for diamond paintings today if I can get into it is come on there we go so it is another 30 by 40. This is another one that's very similar to a sign. Again, it just sort of caught my eye. But this um, reading, because murder is wrong. <laughs> and we've got an owl sat on some books, reading some books with rabbits, birds, butterflies, a little squirrel around him. I think that's a frog. Um, it does have training wheels on this one, so it will become clearer once it's done. But it does have the little circles surrounding it, if you can see on the letters there. You can see it more so on the lighter ones than you can on the darker ones. They do look quite close together. It won't be known until it's fully done. But it can, I do sometimes find if you get one that um, has the little training wheels, the picture doesn't look quite as clear as it does without them. Um, not with no, with no diamonds on, 
as soon as you've got diamonds on it looks fine um, but it's down as a 30 by 45 you do get a toolkit and the actual size of it is just short of 25 by 39 and a half so it's a nice size I've seen quite a few of these sign ones I've had the odd ones before but every now and then another one catches my eye and this one did this time I really like the green as well so we have some burgundy and some black I say it does have DMC numbers it's 22 colours and does use both symbols and letters got some burgundy and we've got some really nice dark greens quite a few different muted of course some lighter colours scattered throughout got a couple of burnt orange type colours there some more more turquoisey type blue with a hint of green rust colour and then some paler browns as well so Mr Owl is reading a book because murder is wrong. I like these little phrase ones, especially if you can find one that's that's quite true, or just just makes you chuckle when you read it. And it's a nice diamond painting to work on, a nice diamond painting to show. Oh, get the diamonds to go back in. So Mr Owl with all his little friends that you can actually see quite well close up. So I can see that that's a bird and I can see that that's a squirrel. Um, I think that one's a frog. Though there is, it's a little bit of the head part. We've got a little dormouse and then we've got some butterflies. But when you move away, they're not quite as clear and that's the training wheels. Um, once you've got diamonds on it, it should become clearer. And then we have the off the canvas item. So there's quite a few different versions of this. There often is when I pick an off the canvas item, there's a few different designs available. And there are a few more of these coming out now, but not not loads but there's quite a few and this is a cushion cover and have I got it the right way around no <laughs> there we go and da -da, the picture makes sense <laughs> so it is a partial though it's quite a big amount of a of, of, to be a partial so this background here of which you've only got it round here a little bit at the top you've only got the thinnest strip across the bottom and you've got a little bit round here apart from the whiskers is um this is where you diamond paint on however looking at the drills they've actually sent me and i think this was the one i ordered so this was the one i ordered was the owl and that's the diamonds they've sent me but I've received the tiger. Now the tiger is awesome, I will say. However, these aren't the diamonds for him. So I will drop them a message and see if we can figure out if we can fix this um, in some way or another. But these drills are definitely for the owl because you diamond paint the owl, not the background. So they are definitely owl colours. Um, and you do get your symbol chart, which goes from one to 17. And I can only see this one going up to eight. There may be a nine, but I'm not seeing it. I'm only seeing one to eight on this one. So I'll drop them a message. Um, and see what they say about it and I will of course get back to you uh, but links will be down below for everything and yeah if I've heard back from them by the time this video comes up of course I will bob it on to the end of this video 
um, I should be able to have plenty of time to be able to pop a little snippet on the end. But while I have them all together, um, we have half a cushion. So absolutely gorgeous design though. Um, I might have to see if I can get the key to this one. So I know what colours I need to put on it and use my spares. Um, and then we have the owl reading because murder is wrong and raccoon and sink company wash your paws but yeah i'll pop links to everything down below i'll pop links to this as well if i can and then i'll also pop links a link to the owl cushion um, that i ordered and stay tuned for my add-on thanks for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon and i'm back a little while later but DIY Digital Art did send me um, a replacement cushion cover and this all looks good straight off so it is the one that I actually ordered and asked for which as you saw in the last video was this one the diamonds Let's have a look. Do we have, so BZ25, the codes match. And that's actually the codes that I got on the last one, but I got the wrong cushion. On this one, or cushion cover, this one I have the right cushion cover. So they have put things right, which I think is, in fact, probably more important to let you know than necessarily um, a company that does wrong things or mistakes are made. Mistakes can be made all the time. You know, everybody's human after all. Question is, do they put it right? And the answer is, DIY Digital Art do put it right. So they have sent a replacement cushion. I might, ooh, I don't have the DMC numbers for this cushion. That's the only thing, um, which, you know, this is the replacement. So this is the correct one from what I ordered. Um, but maybe I'm wondering whether to try and figure out what those colors may or may not be. Or maybe just use some of my spares and as long as it looks about right going on the background to stick with that. We'll see if I fancy a challenge. Not quite yet, but we'll see if I fancy one in the future. Um, but yeah, they've put things right. So I'll pop links to all of them down below so that you can check them out if you're interested. But thank you again for watching this tag on part and I'll speak to you all again soon.